Good morning. Today on the bench we have uh, this nice uh, Akai GX9 tape deck. Uh, it came for me for uh, tape transport service because uh, customer said that uh, it doesn't spin a cassette into any direction and also uh, there is some uh, tape path alignment issues. <coughs> because so let's open the device and i will see you then okay so i have uh, removed cover and uh, what we can see that uh, let's remove this and what we can see that there is a bit busty okay, so let's plug it in and let's see what it does you can hear it is like trying to spin but also not okay rewind doesn't work at all play mm -hmm, there is some problem and what do we have right here? Okay, so both shafts are spinning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think the next step will be to remove the transport and we will see uh, what is wrong maybe when we disassemble it so let's let's remove it to remove that tape transport we have to remove those two screws right here and also there are two screws uh, from the bottom and uh, some connectors for uh, for for tape transport and also we will have to <coughs> lift up this this PCB because uh, under under the PCB we have uh, a race head, record head, and also uh, somewhere here uh, I think uh, right down through through that PCB we have uh, playback head connectors. So let's let's do this, and I will be back when I will remove the transport. Okay, so to lift. That PCB you have to undo screws here, then one here and here, and also it will slide off from that just like this. Yeah, and then what do we have right here? And we have a uh, playback here connector, so let's undo this. And also, I see that uh, this device was not. Uh, uh, ha basically have not had any service because I had to remove uh, uh, zip tie from here and it was original so uh, as we can see there is also record not recorded uh, uh, this is uh, race, race head uh, connector and also right here this one is a record head connector so we have to undo that also like that okay and now we can proceed to to remove tip the transport also i have undone those screws from the top and uh, there were there were two screws from the bottom okay so we have successfully removed the transport and let's check first of all 
all the modes yeah what we can see okay so pinch rollers came changed what about okay so me mechanically they move freely because sometimes uh, on those uh, on, on speci especially on these uh, uh, tip transports the, there is a problem of uh, grease uh, is getting getting hard and, and then those pinch rollers just do not uh, move correctly or freely uh, I would say what about belt is kind of okayish but but it is like I think it's stretched a bit too much so we will change it with the new one and uh, also uh, we will have to do that alignment procedure for the tape bath and uh, there is idler, idler tire which we have also to change because as you, as you have seen uh, this barrel is spinning okay so let's proceed first of all let's remove those this part So let's remove the door. Okay. And just like that, removed. Okay. And then this part. a spring right here and you have to uh, remove it also so to do that I would recommend to use something like this like picking device yeah and just okay then let's for our convenience do this zip As for these belts, they are kind of okay, but uh, we will address it also into the change. And let's see what do we have right here. Okay, let's remove this. And what do we have right here? Oh. This part was tempered with it looks it looks like there is some glue oh yeah okay remove this you have to undo the top of that spindle there is also washer 
don't lose this it will be needed and then just put it out okay and what do we have right here let's also remove this First of all, this is too small, as you can see, yeah? And the second thing, what I can see... Oh, wow, it is messed up a big time. Because this part should, uh, like, uh, be on... Uh, on this oh wow okay let's remove this and let's see what it oh my god <laughs> seriously this spring is not supposed to be here this spring should be right here and also we see that washer that should be in, on the top uh, is pushed in in here they should look like this <laughs> okay And the customer said that also that this device was uh, in the service, some kind of service. We all see what service it's been. <laughs> Jesus. I know that some some people are uh, trying to learn to do stuff but please be patient and be careful and also every time when you remove something don't forget where every part should be <laughs>
this part is sticky but not enough I think we will have to use a bit of uh, glue looks like that this was uh, you know some kind of tube <laughs> that, and he just you know sliced a bit of that tube <laughs> that's very nice people are very interesting sometimes yes with their decisions Okay, let's clean this part. So this is correct part for this. And it is not being sliced from some kind of tube here, you can see. Let's use it. you can see it is correct part and it's not too thin yeah look at that <laughs> what a mess okay now correct way first of all we have to a bit oil this part I'm using silicone oil Don't go crazy, just a bit, yeah. Then this goes on top, right, right here. Then spring. And then I would suge suggest you to clean this. And also use a bit of grease right here on the top. Okay. Then you have to squeeze it down. Okay, just like that. Then goes washer. then e-clip or c-clip actually i think that th this is not correct one <laughs> Let's 
string this bracket and then washer and then eclip post eclip let's use some pliers okay now it is correctly assembled and it should look like this okay so this thing is fixed let's continue Okay, let's clean those. Parts of that idle idler tire is flying away. <laughs> nice. I would like you to see. Look at this. Yes, right here. <laughs> okay. Then why to use oil there? Okay, let's let's clean this. Because this part should be dry. No oil here should be used. have to use a bit of okay let, first of all let, let's clean both of those spindles okay so q-tips are going 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 gone So in this video, I will not mention uh, things how to how to do calibration, electronic calibration of the device, because that was not in the request by the customer. So with the next deck, maybe we will see this procedure. it then that spring okay oh well uh, let's do one one thing one more thing mm. let's oil a bit this motor Right here. Yeah, but just a little. Now it would be a bit quieter. Mm. 
don't oil this part because <laughs> then you will lose the friction and basically this is it you will have to clean it okay that seems a bit of grease right here just from the slider part here yeah? so like that and like that Just a bit. Okay, so I think this part will be okay. Then let's check. Mm -hmm. It is still drying up a bit. That will be fine soon. Okay, so let's use a bit of oil right here. Okay. some kind of residue right here yes okay, let's remove it and let's install it again okay so then goes to washer and top part and now it spins quiet okay take up spool washer and top part this is how it should work you know oh yeah and when you put this there is a tension you see okay uh, right here also let's check the alignment of the tape path This part this part is a bit off. Yeah. So we have 
so we realigned it okay so we have managed to unscrew it so now what we have to do let's put this back again and we have to align this part so that it will go freely between those two plastic tabs like here that is going freely okay so let's spin a bit this here also yeah so let's screw this back to fix that. Okay, that's it. Okay, so this one fine and this one is also fine okay I'd like to do one more thing okay and I had hate at minimum position as we can see so it is okay now we finished with this part yeah so those are lubricated this one assembled correctly and idler tire changed and now let's look right here <laughs> proceed with uh, back side yeah okay so we have to undo those one two three screws I don't remember that this originally was so small but whatever
-hmm. let's maybe use new one also while i'm here let's put some oil in the shaft for the motor Let's use this one instead of that. And as always, let's do a bit cleaning. change it let me grab those belts and look for correct one yeah this is the right one for that machine. Okay, so first of all, let's clean those. Okay, so let's continue. Now we have to clean those parts. And also what I like to do is to remove them and a bit flex them. so that those would stay in that position. This one is fixed. 
Okay. A bit of grease. Not for crazy, just a bit. Okay, and that part is fine. Let's install this back. So that would be awesome to, to undo this one. small ball bearing yeah let's let's grab it Should look like this. Okay, let's put it back. So first of all, let's attach that spring back. Okay, so I have finally done that part. Yeah. So 
Uh -huh. So let's let's not forget that this thing should be think like that. this plastic shaft through that lever and into this washer then let's put it down like that and we will have to align this part so this should be like like that and just like this. Okay, and we, I think, are finished with the transport. So let's just put everything back together. Okay, so tip transport is inside. Uh, I will uh, use only two screws for now, right here, right here, and also I will screw down this PCB. Uh, heads, uh, all the heads are connected, 
and uh, we'll test the device basically after all connections also will be plugged in okay so till okay, then so let's try the device also i have done a bit of cleaning inside there and it was very very nasty as you can see so let's let's plug it in okay so i am out of the cabinet again and uh, what do we have right here just look into that pink shoulder you see it is moving moving that shaft this one this one is okay but that one is very bad very bad condition yeah also uh, with that I idler tire i had a huge headache uh, because that spring was i think not original and so on and so forth so i had to find exact spring um, uh, with exact um, uh, uh, power or newtons yeah to push it uh, to fit so that was very very challenging process and you can see <laughs> all of the springs uh, that i have uh, i checked uh, them all yeah uh, one one of them gone with the wind <laughs> okay so uh, uh let's do further repair and uh, let's change those those pinch rollers yeah so let's stop the device and i will do this off camera of course because uh, i do not have holder so we have to undo that c-clip and that c-clip and just basically that pinch roller will lift up, up and uh, after that we have to clean those uh, those shafts and uh, also oil a bit those shafts before putting the new ones yeah so till then okay so just look at that i have not seen that but there are lots of spacers as you can see you see it why to do to do it like this i do not understand ever so uh, let's change them and of course there is more there is more on the back and this one looks nasty it looks like it looks like uh, it, 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 it is done from from plastic bottle or whatever <laughs> Okay, so a new set of pinch ro uh, rollers to installed. I use these ones and if you look closely, I'll try to do my best. Shaft doesn't move and it was moving like crazy and also I have changed that one because you have seen how many washers was used, yeah? Okay, so let's try the level and we are okay here and here also okay second thing let's check tape speed okay and what do we have frequency Frequency, I think, is a bit too low, but we will check that uh, with the computer program. Yeah. Okay, let's then. So regarding azimuth, this is this is what we have. It's it's it's. I, I think it's in perfect condition. Yeah. Well, that was error in the tape, but it's it's spot on. Okay, so let's then uh, calibrate speed. But this will, we will do with uh, with computer attached. Okay, so till then.
Okay, so I have, I have started program and uh, start this testing. Okay, we have a signal and what do we have right here? Okay, we are a bit slow. This is the required potentiometer, yeah. So let's try to achieve that. Sweet spot, yeah. Okay, I think it would be it will be fine. So at this stage, I think I will I will uh, zip tie those those uh, wires so that it would look fine uh, and uh, close the device and we will test it uh, with some music as always. So till then. Okay, so uh, final test of the device. Let's put on the headphones. There is music search also option, so it uh, just search, searches right now for, for the gap between the tracks. This is it, uh, very nice unit, uh, things that were, were changed will be given to the customer and uh, as always thank you for watching and see you in the next video, cheers.